right, so we made it to Venice safely from Naples, and we're walking over a bridge right now, and this is a little piece of the Grand Canal here. Obviously, uh, Venice is full of ca canals, and boats, and tourists. Uh, so I'm gonna have a lot of fun exploring Venice today, getting lost in the city. So we're spending today hanging out in Venice. Um, it's really pretty, very unique, like nothing we've ever been to so far, which is odd to say at this point in our trip. Um, yeah, there's not really a ton that we're gonna do other than just walking around, exploring the city. Um, maybe go on a boat ride, who knows? We'll see how it goes. But yeah, there's Josh. We're just hanging on the top of a bridge. But, yeah, no, it's really cool. So we were lost shortly in Venice through the streets. They're very confusing. Yes, it's like a maze. Um, but we stumbled upon San Marco Piazza. And it is very nice. Clock towers. Very beautiful. And the church. And a whole lot of pigeons. So many pigeons. <laughs> The funny thing actually about the pigeons here is they're crazy. They'll literally like go for your head and then you're like dodging pigeons 24-7. <laughs> Standing in kind of on the edge of Venice here, right behind me is the only way on and off the island by foot or rail or whatever you want to call it. The rest of this place is all surrounded by water, so pretty cool. Crazy city. Unlike any other, eh, Jen? Yeah, it's, it's pretty crazy. Very unique, that's for sure. So we're walking down the Grand Canal right now. Over to our left here. Hey Jen. Lots of shops, lots of uh, hosts trying to tent for business. Yelling all sorts of things out you. Yeah. Beer, wine, fish, pasta, pizza. <laughs> you name it. Everybody wants your own money here. Walking down one of the many narrow alleyways here in Venice. <laughs> so I don't know if you can see here, but this guy is on his phone. On his gondola ride. Yep, on the gondola ride. That gondola ride costs over a hundred euros. This is why you do not take gondola rides in Venice. <laughs> the couple is on this gondola ride and is listening to some guy on his phone talking in Italian. And Italians just yell nonstop. <laughs> Like, That's one expensive. On the contrary, here's one who is actually not on his phone. This one looks a little bit more pleasant. That's our last day in Venice. We're basically just grabbing our bags now. We're gonna catch a train to Trieste. Say bye to Venice, Jen. Bye, Venice. Venice is very pretty. It was very pretty. All right, so we made it to Trieste, and we're just kind of taking a walk around. Right behind us here is the Grand Canal, and it's government going building at the to end. Pour. Yeah, it, it's gonna pour. So we got our rain jackets on. We're prepared. Uh, Trieste kind of cool, actually. We were reading a little bit about it. It's like a big time border town. So borders like uh, Austria, Germany, Czech, uh, Croatia, and I think some other places like Slovenia. And so it's very culturally influenced like by those places. So this must have some good food and whatnot. So we'll, we'll explore, we'll, if we see anything cool, we'll, uh, we'll vlog about it. So we got rained on just as we thought. So we popped into a restaurant here. Jen got some authentic Trieste. Gnocchi and blush. And I got a, a little bit of curry. <laughs> There we go. So we kind of went back outside, stopped raining a little bit, and we found some cool Roman ruins. It looks like it was a theater or something like that. There's Jen. And we're gonna head to the co-op here, which is a grocery store, to buy some vino and some cheese and crackers. All right, so tonight's our last night in Italy. We've been here for about, what was it, two weeks now? Yep. And I'm oddly kind of sad to be leaving here. Um, I think it's actually one of my favorite countries. It's beautiful, we've had fun, a lot of fun, uh, met some really nice people, um, been in a lot of great cities, but I guess on to the next. So next city is Croatia. New chapter, country actually. Next Sorry, yeah. Croatia. 
and then maybe more exploration of the Balkans. Who knows? See. Whatever, wherever it takes us.